The Indus Valley Civilization was a Bronze Age civilization in the northwestern regions of South Asia, lasting from 3300 BC to 1300 BC, and was in its mature form from 2600 BC to 1900 BC. Together with ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, it was one of the three early civilizations of the world, and out of the three, the most widespread. Its site spanning an area stretching from northeast Afghanistan through much of Pakistan and into western and northwestern India. It flourished in the basins of the Indus River and on monsoon-fed Ghagal Hakra rivers in eastern Pakistan and northwest India. The cities of the Indus Valley Civilization were noted for their urban planning, baked brick houses, elaborate drainage systems, water supply systems, large non-residential buildings, and new techniques in handicraft and metallurgy. The cities of Mohenjo-daro and Harappa very likely contained between 30,000 and 60,000 people, and the civilization itself during its peak may have contained around 1 to 5 million individuals. And then, the cities that were once full of life and thriving more than ever ended up in shambles and would sit in ruins for centuries to come. A beginning of the end would commence that will make the civilization lost for more than 3,000 years. But the most puzzling part is that we still do not know why and how the civilization collapsed. What happened to those millions of people? What we have right now are just theories. The Indus Valley Civilization is also known as the Harappan Civilization, named after Harappa, the first of the sites to be excavated early in the 20th century in what was then the Punjab province of British India. The discovery of Harappa and soon afterwards Mohenjo-daro was the culmination of work beginning in 1861 with the founding of the Archaeological Survey of India during the British Raj. By 2002, over 1,000 mature Harappan cities and settlements had been reported, of which just under 100 had been excavated. However, there are only six known major urban sites. Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Dholavira, Rupnagar, Ganeriwala in Cholistan, and Rakhigadi. Mohenjo-daro is thought to have been built in the 26th century BC. It became not only the largest city of the Indus Valley Civilization, but one of the world's earliest major urban centers. Located west of the Indus River in the Larkana district, Mohenjo-daro was one of the most sophisticated cities of the period, with advanced engineering and urban planning. Harappa was a fortified city in modern-day Pakistan that is believed to have been home to as many as 23,500 residents living in sculpted houses with flat roofs. The city spread over a considerably large area and had fortified administrative and religious centers of the same type used in Mohenjo-daro. Both cities had similar organization and featured citadels, central areas in a city that were heavily fortified, protected with defensive military structures. Additionally, both cities were situated along the Indus River. But then something happened. People stopped living in many of the cities. Writings, seals, weights were no longer used. Raw materials brought from long distance became rare. In Mohenjo-daro, garbage piled up on the streets, the drainage systems broke down, and new, less impressive houses were built, even over the streets. Why did all this happen? There are many theories that have been put forward by scholars over the years. None of them seem to be universally accepted. One thing that's almost certain and is often overlooked is that the Indus Valley Civilization did not disappear suddenly. There are many elements of the Indus Valley Civilization that appear in later cultures. Vedic period that followed after the Bronze Age, for instance, had similar designs and markings to the Indus Valley Civilization. Then, there are other aspects which are a lot uncertain. One of the most accepted cause of the downfall by most of the scholars is the climate change and drought brought due to the 4.2 Kilauea event, which was one of the most severe climatic events on Earth and has been hypothesized to have initiated the collapse of the Indus Valley Civilization, along with the collapse of the Old Kingdom in Egypt, as well as the Akkadian Empire in Mesopotamia and the Liangsu culture in the lower Yangtze River area. The climate in the Indus Valley grew significantly cooler and drier from 1800 BC, linking to a general weakening of the monsoon at the time. The Ghaggar Hakra river system was rain-fed and the water supply depended on the monsoons. As the Indian monsoon declined and the earth became dry, Ghaggar Hakra retraced towards the foothills of Himalayas, leading to agriculture becoming less sustainable. The drought reduced the water supply enough to cause the civilization's demise and to scatter its population eastwards. 
the Indus Valley residents did not develop irrigation capabilities, relying mainly on the seasonal monsoons. As the monsoons kept shifting south, the floods grew too erratic for sustainable agricultural activities. The residents then migrated towards the Ganges Basin in the east, where they established smaller villages and isolated farms. There is also archaeological evidence of major earthquakes at Dola Vira in 2200 BC, as well as at Kalibangan in 2700 and 2900 BC. Such a succession of earthquakes, along with drought, may have contributed to the decline of Gagar Hakra system. Some suggested that there was deforestation. This could have happened as fuel was required for baking bricks and for smelting copper ores. Besides, grazing by large herds of cattle, sheep and goats may have destroyed the green cover. But none of these reasons can explain the end of all the cities. Flooding or a river drying up would have had an effect in only some areas, but not on a vast civilization. There were also theories by some archaeologists that the invasion by the Aryans, an Indo-European tribe from Central Asia, caused the decline of the Indus civilization. A group of 37 skeletons found in various parts of Mohenjo-daro and passages in the Vedas referring to battles and forts were given as evidence for this theory. However, scholars soon started to reject this theory since the skeletons belonged to a period after the city's abandonment and none were found near the city citadel. Subsequent examinations of the skeletons showed that the marks on the skulls were caused by erosion and not by violence. Although we may not be sure how exactly the Indus Valley civilization collapsed, but there is no denying the fact that the civilization had a great and lasting impact on the culture and heritage of the Indian Peninsula. The civilization will always be known for its well-planned cities and urban culture. We don't know how it got to its end, but maybe someday we will be able to unravel its grave mystery.